Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to send an autoresponder email after the form submission. In this video, we will be covering two scenarios. One, where we send the email at a fixed date, for example, send it after five days. And the second scenario will be a booking form where we're going to inform the user one day before the booking date. So those are the two scenarios we will be covering in this tutorial. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, this is our demo form. And let's get started with the first scenario where we're gonna send the form after X days, okay? So let's go into settings, emails, autoresponder settings by going into the pencil. We're gonna go into advanced section, scroll down, and we're gonna see send emails later. In this section, we can set the days when we want to send the email. For example, one day, two day, three, seven, 14, 30, or on a later date. This is the first scenario. We just have a fixed date and it's going to send it after the form submission based on the day that you selected right here. Now, the second scenario, what if we have a booking form? Let's actually build one really quickly. So we're going to need for this case, two date pickers. So let's drag in the first one and we're going to say, this is the booking date. And we're going to add a second date picker. And this will be, we'll be calling it booking notification. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is actually hide the second date. We don't want the end user to view this. So let's go into properties, advance, and we're going to hide this field. This is not going to be visible for the end user. And this is going to be the conditional logic we're going to grab to send that email one day before their booking date. So how do we accomplish this? Well, let's go into settings. Let's go into conditions. For this, we're going to use the update calculation field. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the booking date is filled and we're going to do a calculated field. So the first thing we're going to do is add the field from the booking date. We're going to say minus one, this is me one date. And we're going to say booking notification, save, right? We just created the conditional logic. So what we're telling it, from the booking date, we're going to deduct one day and it's going to send out that autoresponder email. Now let's go into the email section, go to the autoresponder, advance, let's go down here, send emails later, we're going to go down here and we're going to send it to the booking notification. Now it's set to send it that one day before their booking day. So it's going to remind them and this could be really useful for a booking scenario where we have a booking form. We can save it, publish it, and we're good to go. Now they see the booking date, but they're not able to view the notification date because that's what we're using for the conditional logic. Well, that is how you sent the autoresponder email to be sent after the email has been filled. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.